right, everyone, gather around. Let's talk about some amazing little creatures, bees. Imagine a friendly buzzing sound. Have you ever seen a fuzzy, buzzy insect flying around flowers? That's probably a bee. Bees are like tiny superheroes of the plant world. And they're super important for us, too. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Today, we're diving into the world of bees. Imagine you love eating yummy fruits like apples, strawberries, and watermelons, or tasty vegetables like tomatoes and cucumbers. Guess what? Bees help make all of those grow. When a bee visits a flower to drink sweet juice called nectar and collect yellow powder called pollen, that's like flower dust. Some of that pollen sticks to its fuzzy body. Then, when it flies to another flower, some of that pollen rubs off. This is called pollination, and it's like the flower's way of making baby flowers and growing the fruits and veggies we love to eat. In the United States alone, honeybees pollinate an estimated $15 billion worth of crops annually. Globally, the economic contribution of bee pollination is enormous, ensuring the production of diverse and nutritious food. Beyond food, bees produce beeswax and propolis, which have various uses in industries like cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and manufacturing. <laughs> The importance of honey. Natural sweetener. Honey is a natural and delicious sweetener, often considered a healthier alternative to refined sugar, as it doesn't spike blood sugar levels as rapidly. Nutritional value. Honey contains mostly sugar, but also trace amounts of amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Health benefits. Antioxidant properties. The antioxidants in honey may help reduce the risk of heart disease and protect against cell damage. Cough suppressant. Studies suggest honey can be effective in relieving coughs, especially in children. Wound healing. Medical grade honey has shown promise in promoting wound healing, particularly for burns. Antibacterial and antifungal properties. Honey, especially raw honey, contains compounds that can inhibit the growth of bacteria and fungi. Other potential benefits. Research suggests honey may have benefits for gastrointestinal health, neurological conditions, and may even help control blood sugar levels. Just like there are different kinds of animals, there are lots of different kinds of bees. They come in all shapes and sizes and have different jobs. Here are a few cool examples. Honeybees. These are probably the bees you think of most. They live in big families called hives, like a busy apartment building. They have a queen bee who lays eggs, worker bees who do all the jobs like collecting nectar and pollen and making yummy honey, and drone bees who are the boy bees. Bumblebees. These bees are big and fuzzy, like little flying teddy bears. They also live in families, but their families are usually smaller than honeybee families. They are super good at pollinating because they can buzz their wings really fast, shaking the pollen out of some flowers. Solitary bees. This is a big group. Most bees actually live alone not in big families. Think of them as independent bee adventurers. 
There are mason bees who use mud to build their tiny homes, and leaf cutter bees who cut little pieces of leaves to make their nests. They are still amazing pollinators, even though they work alone. Stingless bees. In some warm places, there are even bees that don't have stingers. They still collect nectar and pollen and make honey, but they defend themselves in other ways. <laughs> bees are busy from morning till night. They wake up with the sun and fly around looking for flowers. They use their long tongues like straws to drink nectar and their fuzzy bodies to collect pollen. They carry this pollen back to their home to feed their young. Honeybees work together in their hive, building honeycombs out of beeswax, a special waxy stuff they make, to store honey and raise their baby bees. They even do a special dance to tell other bees where to find the best flowers. Solitary bees build their own little nests in holes in the ground, hollow stems, or even tiny cracks. They collect pollen and nectar and leave it in the nest with their eggs so the baby bee has food when it hatches. direct product of bees. Bees collect nectar from flowers, which they then process and store as honey in their hives. Therefore, the existence of honey is entirely dependent on the health and activity of bee colonies. In conclusion, bees are indispensable for agriculture and the environment through their crucial role in pollination. Honey is a valuable natural product with nutritional and potential health benefits. Protecting bee populations is vital for ensuring food security, maintaining healthy ecosystems, and continuing to enjoy the benefits of honey and other bee-derived products. So, you see, bees are not just buzzing insects. They are tiny superheroes that play a huge role in our world. Let's always remember how important they are. Thank <laughs> you.